Hank Davis. King Ryan Garcia. The power of Davis! The flash, the hand speed. Two undefeated stars, two journeys, one mega fight to make history. It's over! It doesn't get any better than this! Gervonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia, Saturday, April 22nd, live on pay-per-view. Basketball season is entering its final stage. There's one final push needed before the playoffs. Got to head into the playoffs strong. Our DraftKings family is bringing high-stakes action to all new customers at the playoffs approach. Calling all new customers. Place a bet on the pregame money line wager. If your pick hits, you get $150 in bonus bets. You heard, Jack. New customers bet $5 on any pregame money line wager, and you'll get $150 in bonus bets if your pick cashes. DraftKings has been around for a while, so you know your money is safe. What you waiting for? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code SMOKE. Bet $5 on any pregame money line wager and get $150 in bonus bets if your bet hits. That's promo code SMOKE, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Once you clock off work on Friday, head over to DraftKings Sportsbook app and see the All the Smoke Same Game Parlay. We'll be cooking up a new Same Game Parlay every Friday. So ride with All the Smoke, fam. The action only happens at DraftKings Sportsbook. What up, everybody? It's your boys from All the Smoke here. We've been nominated for two Webbies. First of all, we want to thank the committee for nominating us. We definitely appreciate that. Uh, best social and best pod. Jack, we need to win this one. This is the big one, right? We need you to go vote for us. That's yes. what we need. You. Y'all been supporting us. Y'all the reason why we're here. Y'all the lot of reason why we had all this success. So now we need y'all again. We need y'all to go and vote. It's the realest podcast out there, man. All the smoke. Make sure you vote for us. Link below. Link below. Link in bio. Go vote for your boys, man. All the smoke. Showtime Basketball is also nominated for a Webby. As you know, we've built a very good team over here with myself and my brother Stack, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, our sister Rachel Nichols, Allen Iverson, to name a few. Yeah. So make sure you guys go vote for that, though, too. Can't forget about the family. Go vote for us. Appreciate you. Welcome back to a very special edition of All the Smoke. We out here in Vegas, man. We have the uh, pleasure and the honor of uh, coming inside of Camp Tank Davis. Uh, last time we talked to you, right before the Santa Cruz fight, and and you said one of your one of your personal favorite knockouts ta at the time. Talk to us about that fight. You were in the midst of the pandemic. Where was your mind at that time? Uh, it was like you know, it was. First fight back since the pandemic, it was we didn't have that much crowd. I was, I knew that um, Leo was coming with a lot of punches. I knew he was gonna come in shape. I knew his goal was to try to get me uh, tired and things like that. So I made sure I ran every day. Made sure like I was waking up probably like eight, nine in the morning, uh, running probably like the the heat was probably. I mean the uh, it's probably was like. 106, 110 mm. out here, and I was running every day. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So um, it was a little, little uh, like a little hiccup because of um, the way how they set the the fight was. Mm -hmm. Like the whole like you had to fight in a bubble, and like mm -hmm. you couldn't really be with your coaches. Right. So I, it was like a little crazy. Mental. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we got the job done in in the fight. You know, it was a little back and forth, and mm -hmm. then. I wound up catching him with a good shot, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and, the, and the shot was crazy. Okay. I knew that when I was when I was gonna catch him, it was gonna be like because I had the way he was kept throwing the same punch. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I know like if he throw this got punch him. again, I got, got him right him. there. And he threw it right where him. I thought th knew he was gonna throw it. Mm -hmm. The timing was perfect. Yeah, on the that. time was, was crazy. I mean, you just had your last fight 
not even two and a half months ago. Did right. you get, how much downtime did you have in between that fight and starting to train for this fight? Not. None. Probably about like a week, mm. a good, a strong week, and then mm -hmm. I had to go, get right back into it. Because mm -hmm. I knew, like, this, this fight gonna be, it's gonna be, it ain't, it's, it, it's not gonna be like the rest, it's gonna be a little, mm -hmm. little tough. Mm -hmm. One thing I noticed about, obviously getting a chance to come into camp today and check you out, when you have any kind of downtime, I see you have Floyd on YouTube. What are you taking from watching his fights? Just little stuff, just like how he's moving, like his his hand placement, like what he's throwing at and things like that. Like um, just how he he is in like the boxing in the boxing ring. Just I like to try to watch him a lot because I, I not really fight like him, but I try to like. He's he's off the dot, so if I can do it on the southpaw mm -hmm. side, then it's gonna be a little awkward for my opponent. So mm -hmm. I always like to watch Floyd, you know what I mean? Cause he's he's the best that well, and that I think that he's the best, mm -hmm. like the greatest of all time for mm -hmm. sure. I've seen your last seven fights. Well, I've been to them, mm -hmm. um, as you know. Um, but from I think from the Gamboa fight. I seen a different tank for some reason. I don't make you correct me if I'm wrong, but I just seen like you seem like you locked in way more. And I think you know as a professional who you are now in boxing. Right? I, I just seen this a, a different change and a different focus. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Uh, just just off of just I think I'm getting I'm I'm getting used to it. Professional. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah. The professional side. Like I'm getting used to it. Like even when I'm in the ring, like it's it's not like more so like it's not blurry no more. I can sleep mm -hmm. like clean as day. At mm -hmm. first, like when you first get on the this stage, you fight, it's like a little, it's not so much clear. Mm -hmm. But now like I can see like- Slow down see, a little yeah, bit. Everything is slow yeah. down, like mm -hmm. everything. Like I could pit it where it's though it's my pace like mm -hmm. at all times. And that's why I, I, I like it. And that's why I see that I'm getting like over that hump type stuff. Can you say, can you say there's nothing in the ring that you haven't seen? I can't say that just yet. Right. Just yet. Right. Even but, though you've been boxing your whole life, it's yeah. still something new. Yeah, not just yet, but but it wouldn't surprise me like if something new came, like if I like just just say like it was like a little he's come out a little awkward or like different or he catch me with something. Mm -hmm. it's, like I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? I know how making to like, adjustment, yeah, make adjustment. That was easy. Adjustment for yeah. sure. I've been seeing yeah. that though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, both you guys, you and Garcia, both putting an undefeated record on the line. Is that important to you to obviously, you know, Floyd set the bar, can t uh, finish his career undefeated. Is that a goal of yours? I, I, stay undefeated, like, I don't, I mean, you stay undefeated, the, the, the checks get bigger and bigger. <laughs> I mean, that, but uh, I don't really think that's the goal. The goal just, I think, yeah, that is the goal. But keep getting better yeah, just, in the process. Yeah, just get better at the process mm -hmm. and also just beat whoever they put in front of you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But if, I don't want to speak like that and, um, like, speak it, like, to life, but if it was to happen, then it's like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It, it come with the sport, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But uh, I don't really want to keep, put that in the back of my you know, mind, that, that's, sure. that's life. Yeah. That's life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. deal with everything that yeah. comes and, and, and move on from yeah, it. for sure. I saw you speak on, obviously, your career. I mean, you're, you're, you're 10 years in. You, you knew you said, you, you said you knew you would be something. Did you ever expect to be the global star you are? And do you ha have you had a chance to kind of sit back and appreciate it? Because I know as athletes, we're always looking for the next. What's next? What, do you ever get a chance to just kind of sit back like, damn, it's been 10 years and I've done all this already or still on to the next? The smallest guy yeah. in boxing, the only one selling out arenas. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, really don't, I, don't, I really don't like think about it because it's always like, it's like, damn, I got to do something else. Like Keep now, going. like, like, before, like, the, the, um, Hector, the first, Hector Garcia was like, I beat him, boom, and then it's like, all right, bet. Forget that, I gotta fight. What's next? Ryan Garcia, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's like, it's not really too much of a, like, a celebration to me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's always like, that, like, I'll probably be in the midst of, like, probably, like, just say, like, after the, the, the fight, had a little, uh, get together, and then it's like, but what's it's next? always in the back of my mind, like, what's it's next? always what's next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's mm -hmm. always what's next. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, you feel, like, you, you don't really like be able to get to celebrate because of you the person that's in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Probably people around you celebrate, but not actually, well, me. 
I don't really get to celebrate because it's always like, what's I'm next? always like, what's next? Because yeah. I know I can go further mm -hmm. like, than where I am today. And I'll be telling people, like a lot of people don't know, especially just watching boxing, you got to take care of your body all year round. Yeah. Like even not knowing if a fight is coming, you, this is all year round, so you don't get no time off. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand that. You got to eat right, you got to take care of your body, you got to work. And that's the, that's when I start looking at y'all, I'm like, okay, I got a whole different respect for what boxers go through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you might not even have a fight scheduled, but you still got to eat mm -hmm. right. So yeah. that's, a, that's a testament to y'all, bro. Yeah. What's different about this camp than, than previous camps? He got a different face on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's in kill mode, I could tell. Just, uh... I want to say there's probably more focus, like more like, I think my focus probably a little bit more stronger than, because I know what I'm up against, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know how like, there ain't time to play, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's straight, straight to it. That's why the day that I was trying to get like, straight to the you point, you know what I mean? Sure, I ain't really, right. I ain't, we uh, as yeah, athletes, we understand yeah, for that. for real, like when you know you got something like, a big task in front of you, you don't really want to play with it because you don't want to mm -hmm. have that like, at the end of the day, like, I know I could have did better. Right, mm -hmm. no doubt. You know what I mean? You know, mm -hmm. you, know yeah. you could have did better. None of this matters. Yeah. The fight matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. for sure. Basketball season is entering its final stage. There's one final push needed before the playoffs. Got to head into the playoffs strong. Our DraftKings family is bringing high stakes action to all new customers at the playoffs approach. Calling all new customers. Place a bet on the pregame money line wager. If your pick hits, you get $150 in bonus bets. You heard, Jack. New customers bet $5 on any pregame money line wager, and you'll get $150 in bonus bets if your pick cashes. DraftKings has been around for a while, so you know your money is safe. What you waiting for? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code SMOKE. Bet $5 on any pregame money line wager and get $150 in bonus bets if your bet hits. That's promo code SMOKE, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Once you clock off work on Friday, head over to DraftKings Sportsbook app and see the All the Smoke Same Game Parlay. We'll be cooking up a new Same Game Parlay every Friday. So ride with All the Smoke, fam. The action only happens at DraftKings Sportsbook. The media has been making a big deal about the 10-pound rehydration clause. Uh, can you speak to that uh, a little bit? Obviously, people don't really understand walk around weight and coming down and, and, and obviously how much someone can gain after the weigh-ins. Can you speak to that a little bit? I mean, it just it just making sure everything fair. You know what I mean? I know that he's a bigger fighter. He's mm -hmm. coming in. He's, he, um, uh, he already had the advantage of the, the height, the mm -hmm. size, mm -hmm. the, the uh, arm length, like everything. Mm -hmm. He had the, the most advantage, you know? So I was just making it a little fair, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Just, Even feel. Yeah, just everybody stay the same. And I mean, it ain't like he got a door and I don't have a door. Right. We both have to right. do it, you know point. what I mean? So, I mean, it, I think it's just him, it's just him out there just spreading rumors and stuff like that, and people just adding on to it, you know? Everybody done it. Oscar yeah, done it, yeah. No, I applaud, everybody yeah, done it, Yeah, everybody bro. done it before. It's the part of boxing, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It just, me, they want me to be like somebody that be like, I guess like, a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn the day, right? Yeah. For real. The day. Uh, the art of trash talking. You're one of the better trash talkers. Uh, where does that put you in, in, in your game, in the midst of your game? Where does trash talking come to? You got to sell the fight. Yeah, <laughs> definitely got to sell the fight. You got to sell the fight. Definitely got to sell the fight. I really, it's just about like fi figuring your opponent out, just any little thing, mm -hmm. just any little thing. Like just how he react off of stuff, like any, his movement, like his feedback, like what, is he coming straight back or he like, Right. More like, Not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Fill so, them out. Everything. Just everything. Even like the face off, like how we would just walk up to each other, like me mm -hmm. just pit, like looking at his arms, see how how long his arms is, like how tall he is. I didn't even know he was that tall. I mean, uh, that short. Mm. I mean, well, he's not short, but he's not he, that, yeah. that much taller than me. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, I mean, we figure him out all around the board. The mental game. Yeah. You fought everywhere. ATL, New York, LA. What is the best atmosphere to you? I've been to all your fights, so I want to see what you say. I'm going to tell you what's the best atmosphere that I've been to your fights. What's the best atmosphere you think you're the party at? At the crib? Probably Atlanta. Mm. No. That's what I was about. I live in Atlanta, so I was about to say that. Atlanta was crazy. Yeah. You know what I want to fight at that I ain't fight at? 
Anthony. Yeah, they probably want to fight Danny. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I don't want to say it because I know people, they be They going to run with it. Chicago. Ah, shot town Want to fight in Chicago. Chicago would be crazy. Mm. Yeah. Chicago, Chicago bring out great crowds. Yeah. For, For sure. sure. You uh, had plenty of star-studded entrances, Uzi, Baby. Uh, even did a Michael Jackson car uh, choreograph uh, entrance. You got anything special? I ain't gonna lie, I've been so focused on the mm -hmm. fight. I ain't really, that. That's what yeah. I want to hear. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. I ain't hear. really yeah. been like, you feel me? I, I mess around, don't come out to nobody. Yeah, yeah. That's how I, like, and I also be trying to pick that last minute. Like, that ain't really on my mind. Like, right right the man. moment, yeah. what you feeling? Yeah, yeah. like, I'd rather, mm -hmm. like, worry about, like, what's in front of me. Mm -hmm. Like, people just even, even like, doing, like, um, like, Different, not this interview, but different people like come up and be like, let's do it. I'm like, let's do it after yeah, fight. Yeah. Cause I'm trying to like, like yeah, you know, I'm trying to win first. Like, yeah. I ain't trying to do no big deals, none yeah. of that. I need to do that after the fight. We know how, how big routine is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so we don't, we, we know how that, you gotta stick to your routine yeah. so you can feel the same yeah, way sure. every night. That's yeah. why we came in. I, it would have just been an honor just to watch you do your thing. Yeah, we like, we didn't even have to yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? The, the yeah. fact that we get to talk, we yeah. appreciate it, but just to, you allow us to come in your environment because we are creatures that have it. We played 15 years in the yeah. league, so it's, and this is more of just kill or be killed type no situation. Teammates. Right, it's all you, you know yeah. what I mean? So we totally get that mental mindset that you need yeah. to be in. <clears throat> For sure. What was it like meeting Denzel? I ain't gonna lie, meeting Denzel, like, my grandma was a big fan of this, you know what I mean? So I ain't gonna lie, when I walk on the court and I see, like, I see him like on the corner of my eye, but I ain't, he's talking to somebody. So I ain't really like try to bug him or anything like that, but me just looking and then he like start walking towards me. Like as soon as you see me, just start walking towards me, like, and telling me how like he's a big fan of mine and stuff like that. So when I seen it, I'm like, I'm still pitching. I'm like, damn, like. It's Denzel Washington, like, you feel me? Like, like my grandma yeah, love you. Yeah, for real, like, man, like, it, it's, like, crazy just to have, like, knowing that I'm up here just off a of scale. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Just, like, it's crazy, like, scale can get you, like, far, far mm -hmm. in life mm -hmm. type shit. Like, we heard you guys used to have a hoop in here. You hoop a little bit? Who, who, could you could his compare brother, you? say his brother got game. Oh, uh, you ain't got no game? Uh... I'm all right on that goal. <laughs> I'm all right on that goal. You a lefty, though. Yeah. All lefties supposed to be able to shoot, bro. Yeah, I mean, I ain't that bad. I mean, I ain't that good either. <laughs> I mean, I'm all right. I'm all right. Ain't that bad, what what do you say? Uh, what's it, what, what, what's Shaq say? He good at the uh, YMCA or something like that? Yeah, 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 the yeah. rec league. Yeah. That's how you do your thing, yeah? Yeah, I'm good. If you had to do a pickup game with you plus any four current NBA players, who would you pick on your team? You on the team plus four NBA players. I gotta go uh, Kyrie. That's my favorite basketball player. Mine too, Kyrie. Bro. Mine too. Kyrie, Giannis, LeBron. Last one. Ten, uh, hold up. That's three. You need one more. Because you on the court too. Oh, damn. Yeah, you playing the point. I bet. <laughs> Shit. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I need something young. Kyrie, Giannis, Braun, you. Ja. Ja. Oh, yeah. Gotta go Ja. Yeah. Mm. Gotta, gotta go, go Ja. That's tough. That's a tough little short back. I was gonna too. go, what's his name, though? Curry. But I would go, I would go Ja, though. Facts. Yeah, yeah Ja. Where'd your love for Michael Jackson, the king of pop, come from? I always loved Mike. How can bro, you not? Mike. Yeah. That's why, bro. You had, everybody was moonwalked. Yeah. You, you moonwalked. Come on, man. Everybody I'm a moonwalked. Fan of Michael I love Jackson. Mike. I love Mike. That's what he brought to the game. Like, he, so much, he, yeah, right? he brought every, it. like, he, yeah, he changed the game. I sure. got the girl like Mike. Mine just didn't. <laughs> your shit didn't turn over? Yeah, yeah. No, I'd have had that. You'd have had that. My yeah. shit didn't turn yeah. right. That's that Hawaiian <laughs> silk. My shit was a little different than Mike's. Mike's yeah. shit, Mike <laughs> shit caught on fire in that Pepsi commercial. My shit is good. My shit is safe. <laughs> Uh, thoughts on influencer boxing? It's a big deal right now. You like it? Don't like it? Don't give a fuck about it? What are your thoughts on in influencer boxing? Oh, uh, um, I mean, it's cool. I want, Do you I ever want, watch any of them? I don't watch it. I mean, but if it was like, I watch Floyd, like mm -hmm. Floyd, then oh, his his, his, like, uh, his exhibitions, exhibition uh -huh. and stuff like mm -hmm. I watch him. Mm -hmm. But I feel as though he he. He made it to a stage where as though he could be able to do that. Right. Only I mean? him. Yeah, right. like if I was to do it, like it'd be like, 
He ain't mm-hmm. really accomplished or nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, chill out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But Floyd, then, he made his his way. Like, that's the only one that I feel though can He getting dubs like, for exhibitions. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's getting he's big going boys. Crazy. <laughs> Calvin Ford, what does he mean to you when you say we hear that name? What does he mean when you first hear that? A father. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Father. Father. And then he, he's one of the guys that, that held a lot of these, a lot of this, like, this whole family together. Mm-hmm. Him, with, him with Kenny, but for sure, like, them two, they, they held the, the whole camp together, mm-hmm. for sure. Wouldn't be here without him? Would you say that? Without Calvin? Yeah, I probably wouldn't be there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just off of the f- fact of when I was coming to the gym, I was getting that love that I ain't have at home mm-hmm. type stuff. So it was always like, Calvin, 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 saying I walked through the gym, Calvin, 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 like mm-hmm. looking for him type mm-hmm. stuff. He told, me, he told me he used to come to the gym and you'd be outside, sleep in front of the gym, yeah. in front of the door. Yeah, I used to run from, from I go to school, and then from school, I go straight to the gym. Don't tell my grandma or nothing. Let's go straight to the gym. And the gym was closed. The gym didn't even, I used to get out of school probably 3 o'clock. And the gym didn't open till like 4.30. I'd just be outside just sleeping on, on, on the front of the, uh, the gym, waiting. just waiting. Mm-hmm. Police grab me before, like, get up. Think I'm just out here just mm-hmm. grab me. Like, what you doing out here? I'm waiting on the gym. All for Over, a reason. Yeah. All for a reason. Facts. Does your team get nervous? Before fights? I don't know. They probably do. They probably do. I don't, I don't, but I don't get nervous. Yeah. Well, I'm lying. Anybody that say, any fighter that say they don't get nervous, they, they lying out. Well, I, I got a question. I didn't mean to cut you off, Jack. Because I used to get excited. I wouldn't get nervous. I would get excited. I think there's a difference between excited and well, nervous. Well, let me, let me go and drop my, my thing on, because okay. I, I said this on one of the fights, and I got, they, they loved it. Being nervous doesn't mean you're scared. No. It means you're anxious about being yeah. great. Yeah, facts. Okay. But I get what you're saying too though. Like, if I'm if 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 I get a little nervous or a little doubt in my mind, I'd be thinking like, but I don't never get nervous. I mean like too nervous, like when I'm about to like mm. the ring walk. Right. Like, as soon as the ring walk is, I switch to like well, I can. if I'm nervous in the back of the uh, room. As like, soon as the ring, mo- the, uh, the ring walk uh, yeah, switched, all gone. it's all gone. It's, yeah. Cause it's like, I can't turn back. Nah. And then I get a, a, a thrill off of like the people. Mm-hmm. Like, as soon as I see it, like, yeah. it's like damn, it's, it's, yeah. it's mine type see, stuff. See, like, cause I would get, I would guard Kobe, I would guard LeBron. And I'm thinking like, I'm not nervous. I'm excited. I can't wait to get out there and yeah. guard these motherfuckers. Yeah. Like that was my mindset. To, I yeah. couldn't wait to get to it. Yeah. So it was the, I would, see, I wouldn't think of my mind was nervous. It was just more excited. Really but I get what you're it? saying. Yeah. yeah. I know when your team do get nervous though. And there was one fight where you turned the back flip and you hit your leg on the microphone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay yeah. now, bro. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. flip was cool. Hey, but that but would probably be just a little bad. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the last fight, I think. Yeah, I yeah, think that was the yeah, last fight. Yeah. yeah, they were scared. Don't don't do that. Somebody told me don't do it no more. I think it was Kenny or some shit. That reminds me just a little kid slipping on the mattress. That was Roley. That was the Roley fight. Oh, for real? When he flipped, he flipped and hit the microphone. Yeah. That was the rolling fight? Yeah, hit the, hit the microphone. Damn. That was the rolling fight. Yeah. Mm. Did you mm. feel it? Uh-uh. You didn't feel it? Uh-uh. Adrenaline. All right, quick hitters. First thing to come to mind, let us know. Uh, we see you got a sweet tooth on uh, Showtime's All Access. Uh, what's your favorite candy? Skittles. Favorite can- yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to have to go with the Skittles. And at the Skittles, is probably... Purple or pink pack? Purple. Purple pack, for sure. Okay. Purple. I'm with you. And probably now and later. Oh. Now and later. Watermelon. The, cri- the cherry. The oh, grape. The, what? Oh. Now and later. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The watermelon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. thinking. I'm thinking. You talking about the actual watermelon? Nah, nah. The watermelon. watermelon. Yeah, 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 flavor. Fire. Yeah. Fire. Got to have yes. it. Yes. <laughs> fire. Stuck on the island. What's three movies that you'll watch on repeat? Three shows or movies that you'll watch on repeat? Stuck on the island. Pain and Four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Scarface. Mm-hmm. And probably, um, what's the what's the Jamaican one? Uh, Shotters. Shotters. A classic. Give Shotters. me it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Take the what and leave the what? <laughs> yeah, Shotters uh, fire. Funniest thing that happened to you recently? Funniest thing? Funniest thing that happened. You, the team, at the house. Funniest thing. Damn. <clears throat> Funniest thing. 
<laughs> no, my brother called my brother. My brother called him. Say he got a gentleman boy egg fade or some shit like that. Boy, <laughs> he, thought, he, thought, he thought he had a gentleman boy. That bar. video you made was funny though. What? With the car with the grocery at the store. Oh yeah, the that video store, was funny. Yeah, That's that a side of you I haven't seen. That, that was, was funny. Fire. Three, what's, give me three of the most stylish boxers right now. For me, I would go you, the Charlos, and probably um, my third. I probably would go E, Arrow. Give me your three stylish, most stylish boxers. Me. Me and me. <laughs> Facts. Facts. But, but me, probably, me. The Charles I say as one. Mm -hmm. that, I got him as one, one, yeah. One and then, uh, who else? Be putting that shit on. Who else? Uh, damn. Ain't too many people be putting that shit on. Yeah. Oh, I I say uh, Kettle Plant. Kate, nah, Caleb. Yeah, yeah, yeah nah, Caleb Fly. Yeah, shout out Caleb Plant. Yeah, Caleb. Okay. Oh, Caleb. 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 Who was one troll on Twitter? You can't wait to silence on April twenty second. You probably ain't paying attention to that shit. No, I ain't really. I at this fight, I wasn't. I ain't really like focused on. Uh, Good. Next question. But probably no. Probably uh. No, I don't want to say his name. Yeah. Though. Next yeah, question. Yeah. I want to say his name. He fuck around, get punched. <laughs> so this show is called All the Smoke, as you know. This is the second time on here. That camera right there. If you want to give a message to Ryan or anybody, right there. I want all the smoke. Mm. You know what I mean? All of it. If you want smoke, pass me the lighter. Mm. You know what I mean? We got plenty of it, too. Well, man, that's a wrap, Tank. We appreciate you, bro. Best of luck. Yes, sir. In about two weeks, we'll be out here supporting you, man, and we can't wait to see you continue yeah, to I'll make history. Yeah, I'll clean yes, my sir. suit, ready to roll, Frank. Just to see that I'm at this level and, and see that it's possible. Everything I dreamed of is actually coming true, proving that I'm better than the next person in the ring. Of course, he's gonna say all I have is the left hook. If that's all I have, man, that's crazy. And I think all I'm gonna need is one. One left hook, that's it, sleep, gone. It'll be okay. Give him a little kiss on his forehead. Put him in bed. Like, good night. Since I started this boxing stuff, I said I was going to whip him. And even when he wasn't big, I was calling oh, him out. Vicious right hand! And as we got bigger, I still said, I'm going to whip you. It's not even with the opponent. It's obvious the opponent if, if he's talking, but... It's mainly the doubters. You want to show that you are who you say you are. And I feel as though a lot of people, that's not really who they say they are. This is my moment. This is what is going to define myself. I promise you, I've never seen this. I promise you. He got something coming to him.